Sands Entertainment is remodeling the old Sands Regency in downtown. Today they officially announced the new name, the J Resort. It's part of their larger Neon Line District project. They unveiled phase one of the resort today. Faith Evans joins us now live along 4th Street. And Faith, Jacobs has torn down several old motels to build out the Neon Line District, right? Kristen, that's right, and, and it is one big criticism they faced along the way is that people were using those motels as housing. They addressed that at the grand opening today. Jacobs Entertainment opened the casino floor of Jay's Resort on Tuesday, and the unveiling sparked a discussion on what Jacobs has torn down to pave the way for the Neon Line District. Not only has Reno said goodbye to the Sands Regency, but it's also seen multiple motels reduced to rubble motels that some residents were using as housing. The people that lived in the motels were some of the most horrific living conditions that it's just very hard to describe. Were, were infants and seniors were, were subject to breathing in black mold. Crime was at an all-time high. Vice President Jonathan Bulware says that 90 to 95 percent of the residents of those motels have been successfully relocated. And Jacobs Entertainment has footed the bill to pay deposits on apartments and help people move. Of all the things that we're doing right now, of all the money that we've spent, that is, that is, the, that is the thing we're most proud of, is uh, taking care of our community. CEO and Chairman Jeff Jacobs says the company is also making other investments to benefit community members, namely huge investments in arts and culture. When we fully build this out, which will be over the next few years, I think we'll probably have about $100 million worth of art throughout the property. On top of the physical art, the Jacobs Entertainment Glow Plaza just down the block is already slated to host 50 events this summer. And phase one of the J Resort will be completed in time to provide rooms for the out-of-towners who want to get in on the action. Jeff Jacobs says all this is just the beginning. And if the people of uh, Northern Nevada appreciate it as much as we do, we're going to keep building. Jacobs Entertainment told us that phase one of the J Resort has cost them $300 million and it'll be fully finished in June. Covering the story live, Faith Evans, 2 News.